Ferdinand de Saussure's Course in General Linguistics is a foundational work in the field of linguistics, even though Saussure himself did not publish it. The book is a compilation of his lecture notes by his students, and it outlines key principles of structural linguistics. Structural linguistics. Saussure's work marks a shift from historical and comparative linguistics to structural linguistics. Instead of focusing on the evolution of languages over time, he emphasizes the study of the structure of language systems. Signs and semiotics. Central to Saussure's theory is the concept of the linguistic sign, which consists of the signifier that is the sound pattern of a word and the signified that is the mental concept or meaning associated with the word. The relationship between these two elements is arbitrary, highlighting the conventional nature of language. Synchrony versus diachrony. Saussure distinguishes between synchronic and diachronic approaches to language. Synchronic linguistics examines language as a system at a particular point in time, while diachronic linguistics looks at its historical development. Saussure prioritizes the synchronic study, arguing that language should be analyzed as a static, interrelated system. Long and parole. Saussure introduces the concepts of long and parole. Long refers to the underlying structure or system of a language, while parole is the actual use of language in speech or writing. He emphasizes that the study of long is crucial for understanding the principles that govern all instances of parole. Dichotomies. Saussure uses several dichotomies to explain linguistic concepts, such as the difference between syntagmatic and associative relations. Syntagmatic relations involve the combination of elements in a sequence, for example, a sentence, while associative relations involve the connections between elements in a system, for example, synonyms. Linguistic value. Saussure argues that the value of linguistic elements is relational. The meaning of a word is determined by its relationship with other words within the language system. This relational aspect is crucial for understanding the structural nature of language. Legacy. Saussure's ideas have had a profound impact on linguistics, semiotics, and structuralism. His emphasis on language as a system of signs and his focus on synchronic analysis laid the groundwork for later developments in structural linguistics and influenced a wide range of fields, including literary theory and cultural studies. Course in General Linguistics by Ferdinand de Saussure revolutionized the study of language by introducing structural linguistics and emphasizing the importance of the synchronic analysis of language systems. His ideas continue to shape linguistic theory and have left an indelible mark on the understanding of language structure and meaning.